What's up, everybody? Welcome back to One More Guitar. Thank you for watching. Uh, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button before you leave. Um, today I got a uh, new guitar here, and this is my first Gretsch. Check it out. I bought this at the store, so no unboxing. But uh, this is my first experience with a Gretsch guitar, so I'm pretty excited. You see it's got this Cadillac green finish. It's got a natural back, and I think it sounds pretty damn good. So today I'm just going to go over the specs, play it a little bit, and see what I think about it. And I'll give you my first impressions of my first scratch. So let's get into it. So like I mentioned, this is my first Gretsch guitar. And um, let me tell you how I ended up picking this thing up. So I saw Shane's video on uh, In The Blues about this guitar. If you haven't checked out In The Blues channel, I'll put a link in the description. Um, it's my favorite channel or guitar channel on YouTube anyway. Um, Shane does great videos. And uh, I thought it sounded really good on the video and he seemed pretty impressed with it. So anyway, I was at Guitar Center the other day checking out some stuff and I saw that they had one of these there. And so I thought, well, let me go ahead and plug it in and see what it sounds like. And uh, I was blown away. I, I was super impressed with the way this guitar sounded. I really like these Filtertron pickups. And uh, I had done a little research after seeing Shane's video just about this model in general. So uh, I knew they were the Filtertrons instead of the Broadtrons. But anyway, I thought it sounded fantastic. And, uh, but I didn't buy it. I went home. I talked about it. I looked it up. I noticed on Shane's model... You know, he's a left-handed player, and uh, it was a hardtail, and all they had at Guitar Center was the Bigsby. And I've never really been into Bigsby that much. I've heard they've had a lot of tuning stability problems, and so I've never really been interested in getting one. But uh, I came home, did my research, realized that only the left-handed model has the hardtail. All the right-handed models have the Bigsby. So I thought, well, you know, if I'm interested in it, you're going to have to deal with the Bigsby. So uh, talked about it, looked it up, and the next day my girlfriend took me back up there and she bought me the guitar, I think just to get me to stop talking about it. So uh, anyway, thank you for that. Um, but so I'm super excited about it. As far as the Bigsby goes, um, I've been playing with it, you know, for the last day or so, just trying to check it out a little bit. And uh, I do notice that, you know, if I do a little bit, it's fine. But if I really try to dive it some or pull up on it at all, it goes out. Um, let me see if you can hear this. I'll put it up next to my mic here. See if you can hear what happens when I when I push the bar down. You hear that grinding, uh, scraping noise? Most likely that is the strings getting uh, bound up inside of the saddles. But before I get into setting up the Bigsby, let's go ahead and take a look at the specs of this guitar. Um, I'll put it on the table and let's check it out. Okay, so this guitar comes with a chambered mahogany body. It's got a maple top. It's a gloss finish, got a thin U neck profile, um, the neck's made of mahogany. It's a 12 inch radius, laurel fingerboard, uh, you got perloid thumbnail inlays, 22 jumbo medium frets, and the scale length is 24.6 inches. It has a synthetic bone nut, uh, anchored adjustomatic bridge, a Bigsby tailpiece, tremolo system, um, we got the Black Chop Filtertrons in the neck and in the bridge. 
and then it comes with a volume control for each pickup, a master tone control, a master volume control, and then a three-way toggle switch. And the master volume has a treble bleed circuit in it. Okay, let's check the weight real quick. Looks like we're about at eight pounds and six ounces. So not too bad for a single cut style guitar. I have to say I was kind of surprised by this. It really doesn't feel this heavy in your hands. It feels kind of light. All right, let's check out the pickup readings. Looks like we got about 4.2 in the neck pickup. Got about 4.3 at the bridge. And in the middle, looks like we've got about 2.3. All right, I figured I'd pop out one of these pickups so we could take a look inside. Let's check out the cavity here. You can see it's actually finished inside. And you can see a little bit of the chambering going on. Take a look at this pickup. BHK and it's just marked neck pickups. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the pots. On their full size pots, can't quite make out the branding. You can see here the uh, cavity again for the chambering. I think it looks pretty clean in here. It's pretty nice. Maybe you can make out what these pots say. I cannot read that. It's like an S, D, S. Can't tell. All right, here's the uh, master volume. You can see the treble bleed circuit on there. And then here's the switch. Uh, it's not a board. It feels like a quality switch. I haven't had any issues with it. It's not too loud. Again, you can see some more of the chambering on this side. Okay, with the magic of video editing, I've got this guitar set up to where it'll stay in tune when I use the Bigsby. Um, you can hear now, maybe you can hear, that you don't hear the clicking sound when I move the bar. And uh, so if you're interested in how I got this set up, um, I'll put out a video pretty soon of exactly what I did to this thing. But uh, for now, just say we've got it working so what i want to do is just uh, go through the pickups and do some clean tones and some uh, dirty tones and see what it sounds like all right
so now what I thought I'd do is just play through some songs that uh, I think were recorded with Gretches, you know, just for fun. So uh, let's see uh, what this thing sounds like here. This one's for Malcolm. All right, so let me know in the comments what you think about these pickups. I really like them a lot. Okay, so what do I think about this guitar? Well, first and foremost, I love the way the pickups sound. Got a real punchy, clean sound to them. And uh, I think they sound fantastic. Um, overall, the guitar, it's a really good weight. Um, you may hear me mention that on several of my videos, but that's really important to me. The weight and the neck are very important. So, um, you know, I think it's a great weight. I like the color. Um, like a little bit of the grain I was able to get in this guitar. Um, the tuners are pretty decent. They're not the best tuners I've ever used, but uh, they work pretty well. They have a little bit of play in them, but I didn't really have that much problem with them, especially once I got the Bigsby set up and things stopped catching. So, um, tuners are fine. Um, as far as other quality control stuff goes, um, get a couple of frets that are sticking out a little bit. I won't say they're sharp, but uh, right around in here, get a couple, but it's really not that bad. I think the binding looks really good. Um, really no issues there. You might be see just a little bit of finish that got on the bottom of the binding here, but no no problems there. Um, the truss rod cover is a little crooked. Again, it's just an aesthetic thing, not a big deal. But uh, you know, just let you know about that. I don't know if they're all like that or if it's just mine, but just wanted to give you a heads up. Um, I like the tone controls. You know, I'm kind of used to a Les Paul with this kind of guitar, and uh, it was different having the tone knob down here and the bridge volume back here kind of messed with my head a little bit, you know. It took me a minute to get used to. But it's pretty nice to be able to control the master volume here and set your pickups the way you want them and switch over and be able to adjust it here. And this is also kind of good for volume swells too. So that's pretty nice. I really like that about it. Um, overall, I think the electronics are good. Switch feels good. The bridge, I really didn't have any problems setting it up. Um, before I set it up, this thing would go out of tune constantly. But once I changed the strings and you know followed the steps that I found online, I was able to set it up fairly easily and uh, it works great now. Stays in tune perfect. So um, like I said, I'll put out another video of how I set this bridge up just so this one doesn't get too long. So you can keep an eye out for that, but um, it was really easy to set up and I have no problems with it now. Floyd who? Nah, I'm just kidding, it's not that good, but still, it's pretty good. Oh, um, these strap buttons are locking, basically. You have to unscrew them to put your strap on. So that's an awesome feature there. So I've said before, I've definitely had guitars fall off of straps and crack. So it's really not a good feeling. So having strap locks, um, that's really awesome. Um, that's a fantastic feature of this guitar, and I'm happy that they've included it. 
overall, I'm really impressed with this guitar. Um, it really plays well. I love the way it feels in my hands. The neck profile is not too thick, not too thin, um, at least for me. I know this is all a preference, but for me, I really like the way it feels. Um, the pickups, like I said, they sound great. And I was really happy that I didn't have to fight with the Bigsby too much. So um, that's what I think about it. I'm really happy with my first Gretsch. Um, I've known they've made great guitars for years. I just have never gotten one. So I'm happy to have had the experience with one and to you know now own one. So um, I really do appreciate y'all watching. Thank you very much. I uh, hope you have a good day. Until next time, take it easy and keep playing.